Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't been on this channel before, I am Bethany. This is Cove, our three month old baby. We also have a two year old toddler who's River and my husband is called Daniel. We usually do vlogs on this channel but today I am here to do Kobe's three month update. So if you haven't noticed, he has grown so much. <laughs> he is so heavy and so built. You're a machine, aren't you? My little machine, my little cute machine. He's not smiling right now, but he usually does. He has just changed so much in the last month. He has got such a personality now and keeping us all on our toes, aren't you? So I think um, at my two month update, I had a lot of feeding issues and sleep was really good, but there's been a lot of changes. So I'm excited to update you all on that. But I will start with his weight. He was weighed, he only gets weighed once a month once a month now, and he was up to 14 pounds and three ounces, I think. If I have got that wrong, I'll put it across the screen, but I'm pretty sure I was like, oh my word, he's a stone. He is a stone of weight. That is incredible. Which was the same weight as River was at at least six months old. So it's just a completely different baby and I'm so glad that you're a healthy little boy. But in saying that, I don't think I've had guns like I've got now. <laughs> I will show you. Look at this. Okay, maybe, maybe that's embarrassing. I don't know. Anyway, because holding him is just literally so tiring. <laughs> if I'm trying to, I, I physically, I sometimes just can't. Trying to hold him and do something, he ends up like slipping and I'm like holding him like just by like his, not his neck, but nearly. Because he's just so heavy, aren't you? So I've been using um, a carrier a lot. I just said in the vlog the other day that I've been using the Baby Catan and I've also been using Connector, just like I said in my baby haul video as well. Um, but we just got the mountain buggy Juno. Um, I decided to go for that because it's a bit more structured and because I feel like he's heavier at a stage that he's still quite floppy. He has no muscles to hold himself up yet. And with his head, he's really good with his head, but he is still sometimes catches you by surprise. So I was finding that I needed something just with a bit more support. I was really, my back was really hurting and my shoulders were feeling it as well. So we decided to go for something that was a lot more robust than what I've got and I'm really happy. I've been using it for a week now and I absolutely love it. I'll insert some pictures of it as well just so you can see um, But and leave a link because honestly it's been a lifesaver this last week. Okay, in terms of development, the biggest change for Cove has been he has started to giggle. So he was kind of cooing and definitely smiling at two months but now he has definitely giggled at least twice um, and he very close a lot of the time and really easy to make laugh. That was such a difference with River. I don't know if it was reflux or whatever, um, but she was really serious and it took a lot for her to laugh. And I think our video of first laugh, I think she must have been five, six months. I'll see if I can get the Instagram video down below. If not, check out our Instagram because it was on that from a long time ago. But I just remember feeling like it was a long time until she laughed, so it was really nice that he is laughing on stuff already. Also, he is desperately trying to catch our attention all the time, whether that's by like moving around lots in his bouncer or um, cooing and shouting <laughs> um, or moaning. He's always trying to get our attention. As soon as you give it to him, he's like, hi, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with him. Like if he's hungry, you know that he's hungry. But a lot of the time he's just making noises just to try and get your attention. And again, that's different from River because I think she just didn't need to have like try and fight for attention because she was the only one around and um, it was just me and her a lot of the time so um that's been quite fun because I'll turn around and be like what's wrong and he'll just be like <laughs> he has rolled over he has gone from front to back and he's very close at going back to front I get confused the other way the harder way um, I think he has done it maybe once or maybe that's just lying I'm not sure but the thing is with him is this is just what he wants all the time. He just wants to be held, he just wants to be spoken to. Like, it's as if he doesn't have time to be laid down and be put on the floor. Like, he just doesn't want to do that. He likes playing with toys, but he likes to be able to see you all the time. And if he's on his play mat, I think he feels quite vulnerable, maybe. Um, I remember that with River at the beginning, but by this point, I'm sure she was loving her mat. And maybe it's just because I don't let him cry for long enough or I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do to make them enjoy it, but 
Um, I'm quite happy just with him in a bouncer or with him playing and interacting with us more than being on his own in a play gym, so I think. But yeah, he's definitely grabbing for toys. He's, a l I'll speak a little bit about it later, but he's starting to teeth, so he's been holding on to his Sophie toy um, and a lot of the LeMay's toys as well. We've got two, we've got the dinosaur and Freddy the Firefly. And I feel bad, mum got him the dinosaur or the dragon, but he definitely prefers Freddy. Freddy's been a big hit in this household. That was River's favourite and now I think it is his favourite as well. So it's been cool seeing him do that and it was literally overnight. I think I hadn't really been giving him toys and then one day I was like, oh, I might just give him this and see what he does with it. He's never been that interested. And he was like grabbing it, putting it in his mouth and I was like, oh no. How long has he been able to do that and I haven't known and um, but he's quite happy he's never now I th feel like he's looking for something to do or something to hold and um, whereas before he just wasn't really that bothered so the next thing would be on to achieving the next big development that he's had I didn't I thought it was just like a little bit of teething but I opened his mouth the other day and I could actually see two like slits at the front don't know if that's normal maybe it is but I didn't notice that with River I feel like I just saw a tooth <laughs> with her um but with him just because it's so early i really was like investigating and having a proper look so i think he will have teeth a lot sooner than river he's definitely hands in his mouth all the time toys in his mouth all the time sucking on these things and gnawing at them and stuff like that tried to give him a frozen teething toy and he was not for that he did not like it at all i guess because he's never had anything really cold in his mouth before so he wasn't he didn't find any kind of comfort in that um, so I think we're just starting to adventure into sort of like the Sophie toy, Sophie the giraffe teething toy um, and a few other things. So I'm going to try and buy some more toys over the next few weeks and see what works with him. I have a feeling that because everything else has been really good with him in terms of feeding and sleeping, I feel like we might be hit with the teething. I think that's going to be a big thing because already he's quite irritable with it. And along those lines with irritability, my next thing is clinginess. He's so different to River. Although I don't think I put River down that often either. He's always in a carrier or something. But um, unless he is asleep, he always just wants to be near you, to see you, which is obviously all really normal. But I'm finding that he's needing a lot of comfort to go to sleep. Not feeding comfort, just cuddled. And he loves having this in his face. It's always in his face with his dummy. And he will go to sleep. He's really easy to put to sleep. But it's just like that time thing again, like with... River as well, I've got to like stand up and rock him. Big change as well is with that is he loves his mamaru and he sleeps in that from about 7 p.m. In the, in the evening right through to when I go to bed and then I'm able to transfer him from that into his cot. So, well, his co-sleeper next to us. So I have to take back what I said about the mamaru because really it has been a lifesaver in the last few weeks. Not in terms of him being unsettled and needing it, but just like him sleeping in it, he has really settled in it well. So. I take it back if you're thinking about the mamaru maybe it's a good thing to get um he has really enjoyed it yeah so something i'm actually excited to speak about is his feeding what a difference i have i almost feel emotional speaking about it because i had such a tough time with river i had a tough few weeks with him in the beginning and i thought i'm never going to be able to do this i'm never going to be able to keep up and to have i just don't have the same emotional connection with it this time although i'd be sad i just don't have that drive to keep doing it because i just can't do that to myself again um but this it's been such a turning point seeing the chiropractor if you have a problem with your baby take them to the chiropractor and it won't seem like it'll make a big change in the beginning but give it a week two weeks and honestly it does help i really thought he would have to go into ritidine or something he was really showing signs of reflux or colic or something um, and nothing was really wor working but the chiropractor changed everything for us and um, we are going back in a couple of weeks to see him just to make if he needs any more adjustments or anything which i feel like he might do i feel like he's definitely and um, because he's growing so much i feel like he is stiffening up again but he's nowhere near nowhere near what he was like so feeding him now there's just no issue with burping him there's no issue with wind and i know that's a huge thing just because he's got bigger and he's grown but i do think that he would have definitely needed something if we hadn't seen a chiropractor and um, so he feeds every every two 
to every four hours in the mornings. He usually has a big long nap in the mornings, so he goes about four hours, but he's not asleep for all that time, I wish. <laughs> but um, he's asleep for about two hours. And then um, on me, not put down. I'm not like a miracle worker here, but I'm trying. And then he and then feeds about every two hours until he goes to bed at night, which is totally fine. It's a joy to feed this boy, an absolute joy. It's not stressful. I don't get worked up about it. Um, even with his his he looks so funny. His latch has kind of went a bit rubbish just the last few weeks, and I think that has been because he is starting to teeth and I just got to tell myself that is it. It's not other any other reason. It's a normal thing. His mouth is sore and that's maybe why his latch has changed. Um, and then, so I, maybe you'd have a few days of being like, oh no, what's happening? This is kind of painful again. What am I gonna do? And then it'll go back to being absolutely perfect, the best latch I've ever seen. So I am really thankful that it has turned a corner for us and hopefully it will continue being really great. And that is also, sorry to add, that is also why I haven't been huge on pumping or doing bottles because I haven't had the need to. It's been so easy and I feel almost that I don't want to. I just feel like it's going so well that there's no need to change it. And um, at some point, obviously we will want to leave him and go out and do things but right now it's just not a priority for me at all and it's not getting in the way of anything. Me and Daniel just find it easy with one. It's so weird. What's wrong? That was so scary. Driver was just standing there. What's wrong? Yeah. Do you want another snack? You putting that in the bin? Or are you just dropping that on the floor? Oh. Okay, mommy's got to finish the video, okay? You gonna be quiet? Okay. Yeah, so you would think with two that I would want some more time with Daniel and to go out more but I think we find it so easy with him being so little to go out we just haven't felt the need to do that. The last thing to kind of update you on is his sleeping. We still have the same sort of pattern it's just moved to slightly earlier so instead of going down about nine he's going down about seven, seven, eight just when River goes down. I don't know if that's because we started bathing. Oh it's a play -Doh. I don't know if that's because we've been bathing them together and then he's feeling really tired um, but he has a really sleepy time around 4 or 5 and then he wakes up, we bath him, feed him and then he seems like he's just ready to go to bed. That's not because we've decided that's what we want his routine to be, it's just been a case of we want to bath him today um, and that he's kind of just fallen into this routine which has been really great and I've done that with both of them, I've never really kind of pushed them into a routine and um, I've just kind of let then kind of steer it and see because that's the most settled, that's how they become the most settled I found anyway. We're hoping in the next few weeks we'll be able to put him down into the co-sleeper and then we can come downstairs and have our evening. Um, not that he takes up any time, but he's asleep when he's down with us, but he's in his mammary. So I think it would just be good to get him settled in his co-sleeper if he's ready for that. So we just need to get a camera and stuff to, to do that and to be able to leave him. Anyway, I should go now because this is just going to turn into chaos. But are you going to say hello? Say hello, my big boy. We're going to have to go because it's getting loud. You'll be a good boy. Are you a good boy? Oh, you can cry. You can cry. Oh, man. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up just for my sanity, if anything. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with us. Um, and even if you want to turn on those notifications so we can let you know yeah. when we upload, we have been uploading every day at 4 p.m. So I hope you've been enjoying those videos. And if you want to see some cuter footage of Cove when he's happy and he's smiling, when he's smiling, <laughs> then check out our vlogs. Can you come and sit, mommy? Please say bye. Bye. Yeah, come bye. Here. Come bye. Here. Oh, mommy, please. Oh.